Hey, welcome to the Pharmacy Residency Podcast, member of the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Again, if you need help, uh, free stuff is on residencyhelp.com, but there's also a button uh, where you can ask questions and uh, uh, email me. So uh, my email and contact information is there uh, if you have questions. And uh, one question I got was, uh, what happens if they lost uh, or the uh, my transcripts get lost in the mail? So the first uh, thing is, I'm really sorry. That really sucks. Uh, that's uh, really unfortunate. And um, on the, you know, with the holidays, obviously the, the college is probably closed. Uh, depending on the college, uh, the colleges that, you know, it, it just really depends. Uh, some colleges go all the way up until the day, uh, but most colleges will not open up until, you know, next year, actually. Uh, and so there's a couple of things uh, that I would do, and, and I think the easiest way to answer this is to say, well, what would I do? Uh, first thing I would do is I would get a copy of my uh, transcripts from the web. So, uh, you know, even something like Gainesville, where I was at the University of Florida, I can still get those transcripts, uh, and I can get them in an unofficial capacity, certainly, uh, and then I would... Um, see if there's some place that I could upload those just so they would be on the platform. And uh, because I'm not allowed on the the student side of the forecast, um, I can't see it. Uh, but if there's a place for you to upload a document, then I would upload all of my transcripts to that area, letting them know, hey, I have put the unofficial transcripts up. I, um, this is what happened. And, you know, I'm very interested in your program and would like to, you know, see if there's anything we can do. Uh, And the transcript, obviously, is not going to be able to get there until the second or third week of January. Uh, And so that's what I would do. Um, The other thing is, you know, is this fair? And no, it's absolutely not fair. Uh, It's ridiculous, actually, uh, that you have to depend on someone that, you know, takes two weeks and gets lost in the mail and things like that, because a lot of the choices that you made were made at mid-year. So mid-year is beginning of December. Uh, you know, you make the decisions that week even, and then, you know, a couple of weeks later, you go to your school and, and she did everything she was supposed to, uh, and it just got lost. Um, so it's up to the sites uh, to decide what they want to do. Uh, and, some sites will say yes, some sites will say no, uh, and everything when you're dealing with an issue is kind of the third thing I want to talk about is, and it's very hard to do, I, I absolutely would, would not be thinking rationally and about you know the RPDs uh, side of things, but let's take Colorado for example, uh, they say on their website they get 290 applications, so let's up it to 300. And so let's say seven page resumes, 2100, doc, that's 2100 pages, uh, you know, say four pages of uh, transcripts, uh, two pages of LOI, so another six, let's add some miscellaneous in there and let's make it 15. So, you know, 15 times three is 45. So 4,500 pages of stuff to go through. Um, So on their end, they're saying, look, we are absolutely inundated. Uh, There may be a coordinator, but there is no one whose job it is to be the RPD. And RPD is not a job. Like, it's not like uh, somebody says, okay, well, that's our RPD. The RPD is a practicing clinical pharmacist. And so this is part of their day. Uh, And certainly a nightmarish one uh, when it comes to, you know, kind of things like this. And and this time of the season, and usually they spread the things out. Um, Hopefully, uh, it'll be a wave thing where there are different waves of interviews, and as the applications go, you know, the the first wave kind of gets looked at, the next wave gets looked at, the next wave gets looked at, and so forth. And it doesn't happen like, okay, we've got our 290 applications, let's lock ourselves in a room and figure out what to do. Uh, It is broken up in some way. So again, uh, I absolutely feel for this person. Uh, Everything she did right, uh, and it's really kind of unreasonable to say, well, you should have, you know, 
tried to get your transcripts in early November uh, to sites that she may or may not have, uh, you know, wanted to be a part of. And I know a lot of people kind of wait because they want grades to be done. And I, I did talk about this that, you know, you it doesn't matter. Just get your transcripts there uh, and get them again. But again, my, my heart goes out to this person. Um, but that's what I would do. I would kind of start looking at, hey, you know, this is the situation. And then I would also start looking at other sites because uh, there's going to be some sites that simply don't have the capacity to deal with something like this. And you're, I know it's absolutely ridiculous to think in this day and age, you're telling me that because something got lost in the physical mail and had to go through the physical mail, that I'm my number of sites is reduced by such and such. I've worked for six to eight years for this. Uh, and that is exactly what I'm saying is that, hey, you know what, let's get some more sites on there and let's control what we can control. Um, you could physically take it there if you uh, have that kind of range, um, but uh, otherwise... I, I don't know. You can't take it physically to forecast because it goes to forecast, unfortunately, not the not the site. Um, but you could, I guess, physically take it to the site as a way to say, I really, really, really want to go here. And I would just ask that you accept this transcript that I am handing to you uh, or putting in your you know mailbox. It would be kind of weird to page them and have them come down to give you your transcripts. But uh, there are ways to get it to them. So again, my heart goes out to this person, but uh, do feel free to, to contact me uh, if you do have questions, residencyhelp.com. I'm not affiliated with a school of pharmacy, so I'm kind of pharmacy Switzerland. I'm neutral. I'm absolutely able to tell you what is true, what is not, uh, and I can be very, very uh, impartial about everything. So best of luck to you. Uh, I do hope that it works out, um, but uh, basically Forecast's position on this is if a transcript is late, they punt, and they say it's up to the individual residency site to make that decision. Hey, thanks for listening to the Pharmacy Residency Podcast. And if you're interested in learning more about the interview process, go over to Amazon.com where you can check out 100 Strong Residency Interview Questions, Answers, and Rationales in print book, ebook, and audiobook.